Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my tutorials. Today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on a first fade, mullet type of haircut. I don't know, my friend, um, so he had a, a picture he had uploaded on his Instagram and he had the mullet with a taper fade or something like that. And I was like, yo, I gotta, let me do a tutorial on that haircut. It was pretty cool. And uh, he agreed, so we met up. He let me do this tutorial on him. And uh, just so y'all know, I mean, his hair, he had already did it himself. It was already kind of short, but I still thought it was a good little video I can do for y'all to show y'all how to do a first fade into like a mullet type of thing. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I don't know what to call it. This type of haircut, really. I'm gonna get the first fade on a mullet. 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 Now about that word, the way it rolls off my tongue, bullet, bullet. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop saying it. Mullet, 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 mullet. Alright guys, now we're going to start this haircut off by running the three guard all over the top. And although he already had it cut all out for the most part, I'm still going to go over it one more time just to make sure any little stranglers are cut out and even throughout the whole haircut. I keep cutting against the grain and then combing out any hair. That way the whole area stays clean, consistent throughout the whole process. Okay, now we're going to lay down our first initial guideline for this burst fade. And uh, I usually start right here at the temple peak area of the hairline and then I just take it back and curve it a little bit behind the ear. Since he has a mullet there, I'm not going to go further back than where I'm laying it down right now. Next, I'm going to come in with my wall seniors, open the lever and that's a half and then I'll be just fading up about an inch. And next I'm gonna come in with my one guard, put it on, and then I'll just open the lever, and that'll be a one and a half. And I'm gonna fade up about another inch. Okay, next I'm gonna slap on the two guard, open the lever, and that's a two and a half, and I'm gonna just fade up into the top. Okay, now that my guidelines are set, I'm gonna start fading them out one by one. I'll start with the top one. And this one, to take it out, I'll open the lever about three quarters with the one and a half guard and flicking out with the corner of the clipper, the top guideline, little by little. And guys, take your time. You don't wanna get frustrated. Just take it a piece at a time. And if you feel you need to open or close the lever a little, then do so. This is always just a good starting point for me being everybody's hair is always going to be different now i'm gonna come in with my half guard and the same thing i'll open it to about three quarters and start fading out that middle guideline that i had left behind with the corner of the clipper just picking it out little by little Next, I'm gonna come in with my one guard and the same thing, I'll open it to about three quarters and fade out any little dark spots that are left behind. Next, I'm gonna come in with the zero and that's the clipper with no guards. And I start with it closed all the way and then I open it halfway and then I open it all the way to take out that last guideline. And remember, 
remember guys try to work in small sections that way you don't get overwhelmed as soon as you're done with one section then move on to the next but don't move on to the next if you feel you still could have got that last section down cleaner Now I'm going to come in with my sub-zeros and just knock out everything that was left under the fade. And to finish the whole blend, I'll come in with my shavers, my under shavers, and I'm going to just shave up into that last guideline. Now to tie everything in, I'll come in with my Sub-Zero one last time and pick out any little dark spots that Shaver might have left behind. And now moving on to the other side of the head, we're going to repeat the exact same steps that we did on the right side. Again, we'll come in with the half, the open lever, and come up about an inch. Follow that up with the one and a half, that's the one guard, open lever, and come up about another inch. Next, we're coming in with the two and a half. That's the two guard on the clipper with the open lever. And same thing, we're gonna start fading out these three guidelines, starting with the top guideline with the one and a half guard open to about three quarters. For that second guy line, we'll come in with the half guard and the same thing, I'll open it up to about three quarters. Next, I'll slap on that one guard, open it up to about three quarters and finish completely taking out that top guy line. And now we're going to take out that initial guideline with the clipper closed and that's a zero and then I open it halfway and then I open it all the way to finish taking out that first guideline. Sub zero and take out all the hair that was left under the blend. Then I'll just come in with my shavers and then just shave out everything that was left under. And 
now before starting my lineup process i get in a few pumps of spritz and then i blow dry it and as i'm blow drying it i'll like brush down the hair that way it freezes the hair in place and once you feel everything is nice and dry i'll come in with my liners and start edging up my client trying to stay as close to the edge as possible I usually start from the middle and then work my way to the left side and then I'll work my way to the right side. And as I'm doing this, I take my time and I like to step back a lot. That way I get a good view of the whole lineup and uh, it just helps me make sure that I'm going straight to both sides. Now before coming in with my straight razor, I always slap on a little bit of shaving gel that way it keeps the skin really moist and it prevents any kind of razor burns. And when doing your razor work, make sure you always stretch the skin. It helps the blade just glide effortlessly against the hair. I'll start by shaving with the grain and then I'll come and shave against the grain. That way you get a nice clean shave. And now my client had left a little bit of hair under his mullet, so I'm gonna come in and line it up and then hit it with a straight razor. And now I'm gonna come in and start cleaning out his facial hair. I'm gonna hit this with a tool guard and then blend down the sides before I start lining it up. And now I'm gonna come in and do a freestyle design for y'all. And uh, a little tip on doing freestyle designs, if you're not really good with being creative or um, just going off the top of your head, then I recommend just getting a piece of paper, drawing, sketch it out first before you put it on the head and then just kind of lightly dab it on the head and then come back in and detail it a little bit more.
and now i'm gonna finish off this haircut by applying a little bit of hair fibers and with this you know it's optional some people like hair enhancements some people don't so it's all preference at this point and when i'm done with that i'll come in and do the straight razor one more time all over the whole hair you know just to kind of make everything pop one last time so that's it for this burst fade mullet tutorial guys if y'all liked it give it a thumbs up if y'all didn't uh whatever <laughs> i'm kidding but um yeah just give me some feedback and let me know what other tutorials y'all like me to do for y'all and i'll be glad to do one so thank y'all for watching and catch y'all on the next video peace